Welcome to Holistic Wellness 24-7. This channel's mission is to empower you with safe and effective alternatives that support your healthy lifestyle. Ever wondered if you have untapped strength waiting to be unleashed? Deep within each of us lies a reservoir of resilience, a wellspring of courage. Today we embark on a journey to discover this inner strength guided by the wisdom of the ancient Stoics. Join me as we delve into the secrets of these philosophical masters and unlock the power within. Stoicism, a philosophy born in ancient Greece, offers a practical roadmap to navigate life's inevitable storms. It teaches us to focus on what we can control, to accept what we cannot, and to live a life guided by virtue. In today's fast-paced and often overwhelming world, these principles are more relevant than ever. We live in an age of constant connectivity, a world brimming with information and expectations. It's easy to feel lost in the noise, to be swept away by the currents of anxiety and uncertainty, but stoicism offers a life raft, a way to find our footing and navigate these turbulent waters. Inner strength is not about suppressing emotions or ignoring challenges. It is about cultivating a deep sense of calm, a quiet confidence that allows us to weather any storm. It's about developing the resilience to bounce back from setbacks and the wisdom to make choices aligned with our values. The Stoics envisioned philosophy as a kind of shield, protecting us from the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. This shield is not made of steel or wood, but of reason, virtue, and self-control. It is a shield forged in the fires of self-reflection and tempered by the practice of wisdom. The Stoic shield is not a passive defense. It is an active force empowering us to engage with the world with clarity and courage. It helps us to differentiate between what is within our control, our thoughts, our actions, our judgments, and what is not. External events, the opinions of others, the whims of fate. By focusing on what we can control, we reclaim our power. We shift our energy from worrying about things we cannot change to taking action on things we can. This shift in focus is the key to unlocking inner peace and building true resilience. The Stoic Shield also protects us from the tyranny of our own emotions. It teaches us to observe our feelings without judgment, to understand their origins, and to choose our responses wisely. It empowers us to be the masters of our inner world rather than being slaves to our passions. In a world that often prizes external validation and material success, the pursuit of inner strength might seem like a quaint anachronism. But in reality, it is more vital now than ever before. We live in a time of unprecedented change and uncertainty. A time when the ability to adapt and persevere is paramount. The constant barrage of information, the pressure to conform, the relentless pursuit of more, all these can erode our sense of self and leave us feeling adrift. Inner strength provides an anchor, grounding us in our values and reminding us of what truly matters. It allows us to navigate the complexities of modern life with grace and composure. It gives us the courage to stand up for what we believe in, even in the face of opposition. It empowers us to make choices that align with our deepest values rather than being swayed by the opinions of others. Inner strength is not a luxury, it is a necessity. It is the foundation upon which we build a meaningful and fulfilling life. It is the wellspring of resilience, the source of our courage and the key to unlocking our full potential. Stoicism, founded in Athens in the early 3rd century BC, is not just a collection of pithy sayings or a set of rigid rules. It is a comprehensive philosophy of life, a practical guide to navigating the human condition. At its core, Stoicism emphasizes the importance of virtue, reason and living in harmony with nature. The Stoics believe that the only true good is virtue and the only true evil is vice. Everything else, wealth, health, reputation, is indifferent, meaning it does not truly contribute to our happiness or unhappiness. This doesn't mean we should ignore these things, but rather that we should not be overly attached to them. Reason plays a crucial role in Stoic philosophy. The Stoics believed that we should use our faculty of reason to understand the world around us and to make wise choices. Reason allows us to distinguish between what is truly important and what is not, to see through the illusions that often cloud our judgment. Living in harmony with nature is another central tenet of Stoicism. This means accepting the natural order of things, recognizing that everything is interconnected and striving to live in accordance with the laws of the universe. 
It means recognizing our place within the grand scheme of things and accepting the impermanence of all things. Virtue, the bedrock of resilience. Virtue, according to the Stoics, is not simply a matter of following rules or adhering to social conventions. It is a state of character, a disposition to act in accordance with reason and wisdom. It is the bedrock of resilience, the foundation upon which we build a life of meaning and purpose. The four cardinal virtues of Stoicism are wisdom, justice, courage and temperance. Wisdom is the ability to see things clearly, to understand the nature of reality and to make sound judgments. Justice is the commitment to fairness and righteousness, to treating others with respect and compassion. Courage is not the absence of fear, but the ability to act in the face of fear. It's the willingness to stand up for what is right, even when it is difficult or dangerous. Temperance is the practice of self-control and moderation, the ability to resist temptation and to cultivate inner peace. These virtues are not separate qualities, but rather interconnected aspects of a virtuous life. They are the pillars of inner strength, supporting us through life's challenges and empowering us to live with integrity and purpose. They are the qualities that enable us to face adversity with courage, to make difficult decisions with wisdom, and to treat others with compassion and justice. I pause three. Negative visualization, a stoic exercise. Negative visualization, a core practice in stoicism, might seem counterintuitive. Why would we intentionally dwell on negative possibilities? The purpose is not to cultivate pessimism, but to prepare ourselves for the inevitable challenges that life throws our way. It's a form of mental strength training. By contemplating potential setbacks, we diminish their power to surprise and overwhelm us. We become less attached to the things we might lose and more appreciative of the things we currently have. It's about acknowledging the fragility of life and the impermanence of all things. Imagine, for instance, the possibility of losing your job. By visualizing this scenario, you can begin to prepare for it emotionally and practically. You might start updating your CV, networking with colleagues, or exploring alternative career paths. This preparation reduces anxiety and empowers you to take control. Negative visualization is not about wallowing in negativity. It's about facing our fears head-on, developing a plan of action, and cultivating a sense of preparedness. It's about recognizing that setbacks are a part of life and that we have the inner resources to cope with them. James Stockdale, a testament to stoic strength. James Stockdale, a United States Navy Admiral, endured seven years as a prisoner of war in Vietnam. He faced brutal torture and unimaginable hardship, yet he emerged from this ordeal with his spirit unbroken. His resilience is a powerful testament to the practical application of Stoic principles. Stockdale credited Stoicism with his survival. He focused on what he could control, his thoughts, his actions, his attitude, and accepted what he could not the brutality of his captors, the duration of his imprisonment. He found strength in his inner resources, in the virtues of courage, integrity and self-control. He famously observed that the optimists, those who believed they would be released by Christmas, were often the first to break. Their hopes, dashed repeatedly, led to despair. Stockdale, however, adopted a more realistic approach. He acknowledged the harsh reality of his situation while maintaining hope for the long term. Stockdale's story is a powerful reminder that inner strength is not about ignoring reality, but about facing it with courage and clarity. It's about finding strength in our values, even in the darkest of times. It's a testament to the power of the human spirit to endure and overcome even the most extreme adversities. Practical Stoicism, integrating wisdom into daily life. Stoicism is not an abstract philosophy to be studied in dusty tomes. It's a way of life, a set of practical tools for navigating the challenges of daily existence. Integrating Stoic principles into our lives can transform the way we approach everything from minor inconveniences to major life events. Start by focusing on what you can control. You can control your thoughts, your actions, your words. You cannot control the weather, the traffic or the opinions of others. By directing your energy towards what you can influence, you reclaim your power and reduce unnecessary stress. Cultivate the stoic virtues. Strive to live with wisdom, justice, courage and temperance. Make choices that align with these values, even when it's difficult. These virtues are not just abstract ideals. They are practical tools for building a life of meaning and purpose. 
Practice negative visualization. Take a few moments each day to contemplate potential setbacks. This exercise, far from being morbid, can help you to appreciate what you have to prepare for challenges and to cultivate resilience. It's a form of mental preparation, like a fire drill for the mind. Challenge yourself. Embrace the Stoic path. The path of Stoicism is not a passive one. It requires active engagement, a willingness to challenge ourselves and a commitment to continuous self-improvement. It's not about achieving perfection, but about striving to live a life of virtue and wisdom. Challenge yourself to practice one Stoic principle this week. Perhaps you'll focus on letting go of something you cannot control, or you'll spend a few minutes each day practicing negative visualization. The key is to start small, to be consistent, and to observe the impact on your inner state. Share your experiences with others. Discuss Stoic principles with friends or family. Join a Stoic community online, or simply reflect on your progress in a journal. The journey to inner strength is often more rewarding when shared with others. Embracing the Stoic path is not about becoming emotionless or indifferent. It's about cultivating inner peace, developing resilience and living a life guided by reason and virtue. It's about finding strength in adversity, wisdom in uncertainty and purpose in every moment. The journey to inner strength, a lifelong pursuit. The journey to inner strength is not a destination, but a lifelong pursuit. It's a process of continuous growth, self-discovery and refinement. It's about cultivating the habits of mind that empower us to navigate life's challenges with grace and resilience. There will be setbacks along the way, moments of doubt and discouragement, but these are simply opportunities to learn and grow, to strengthen our resolve and to deepen our understanding of stoic principles. The path is not always easy, but it is always worthwhile. Remember that inner strength is not about suppressing emotions, but about managing them wisely. It's about cultivating a deep sense of calm amidst the storm, a quiet confidence that allows us to face whatever life throws our way. It's about finding peace within ourselves, regardless of external circumstances. The Stoics believed that the greatest good is virtue and that virtue is within our reach. By embracing the Stoic path, we embark on a journey of self-discovery, a quest to unlock our full potential and a lifelong pursuit of inner strength. It's a journey that can transform not only our own lives, but the lives of those around us.